era quello che si sì, sarebbe noi oggi. No, uh, uh, quindi mm, vi, vi racconto l'episodio. Cioè se vuoi dirglielo che è un episodio. How we live. Un mese circa fa è successo che io stavo andando in motorino e a un certo punto un tizio sempre in motorino, cioè la strada comunque era stretta, c'era traffico e quindi io non riuscendo a passare e a superare delle macchine, tu mi capisci, mi sono fermata e il tizio dietro di me in motorino mi è venuto dritto in mo sì, a moto, cioè mi è venuta addosso. Ok. Some days ago she was riding a motorbike, there was traffic and suddenly she had to stop, stop. Uh -huh. and uh, a guy in a motorbike behind her pushed her mm -hmm. with the motorbike, crashed on her. Right. Ok. Um, in quel momento io mi sono girata verso il tizio e gli ho detto che cavolo stai facendo? Oh, okay. Con queste parole sì. Mm. No. <ride> sì, eh. Ma no, però aspetta, questo conta, moderato, <ride> nel senso che le ho detto solo che cazzo stai facendo. Ah, però moderato. Moderato. Ma <ride> sicuro <ride> che per quello che succederà dopo questo era moderato. <ride> so, at that moment she turned her head towards him and she said, what the hell are you doing? But we in a moderate way. Mm -hmm. okay. Il ragazzo mi risponde, ma ci passi? Ma vai avanti? Ma cosa ti sei fermata a fare? Eh, allora ti muovi così, okay. eh? cioè, però guy, in maniera un po' più sollecita. Sì. Mm -hmm. The guy behind told her, come on, why did you stop? You could go ahead. Però non si poteva veramente passare perché io... Ma actually it was impossible to, to go. go. E quindi lì è partito tipo... <ride> allora praticamente io ho iniziato ad insultarlo a raffica cioè proprio mi sono arrabbiata e, e quindi l'ho riempito di insulti gli ho detto passa avanti tu con lo scopo di vedere la targa se mi fosse successo qualcosa a motorino quindi il tizio mi è passato avanti e, e però io sembravo veramente una pazza ok cioè mi ha sentito fino a <ride> ok After this, she really comes upset and so start insulting him and say, go, go, come on, go ahead, go, you go. Uh, she wanted to look at the um, targa. Plate. Wait. Plate. Wait. Wait. Plate, yes, to remember the number in case there wasn't any damage to her motorbike, but she really looked like uh, crazy. So she's yelling in the street yeah, at him yeah. and you're very yeah. angry at him. Yeah. yeah. So how do you want us to help you with this problem? Do you want us to fix your bike? Go, go hunt down this guy who hit you and, and beat him up? What do you, how can we help you? Se aggiustiamo la moto vuoi che andiamo da questo qua nel C4? Diciamo. Allora, il, il punto è ehm, non essere così esplosiva, cioè è come se io a un certo punto non avessi più la percezione di quello che mi sta succedendo e cioè io penso che se mi mm, avesse preso diversamente io sarei anche potuta scendere e andare a mm -hmm. due centimetri dalla faccia di questo qua ok <laughs> ok <laughs> the point is <laughs> you choose anyway ok the point is uh, that I really get so much upset it's like a, I cannot stand the situation I'm like losing mm -hmm. control and everything yeah. so it's like that if she could told her could have told her more things she could have gone You could have really attacked him. Yes, so it's like that she really was explosive in her anger. E penso che questa cosa sia dovuta al fatto, cioè, ci ho pensato poi, se lui mi avesse anche solo detto, quando mi sono girata a chiedergli cosa stai facendo, mi avesse detto scusa, guarda ti ho preso dentro, oppure, non so, ti sono venuta addosso, io non avrei fatto nulla. Ok. The point is that she thinks, and she was 
thinking actually this afterwards that if when she turned the her uh, head towards mm -hmm. him, he would have said sorry, I just hit you sorry, that wouldn't have been okay. Yeah. yeah. But he wasn't sorry, no. and you got very angry. Now, was your anger helpful, hurtful, or put you at risk? Allora, disturbante, e però un pensiero sul potrebbe mettermi a rischio, non in quel caso, perché ovviamente non è successo niente, però che potrebbe mettermi a rischio ce l'ho. So it was annoying and the thought that it could be risky behaving this way, yes, she has. So if you're in the street yelling at people who just hit you, he could have hit you again, mm -hmm. right? So the anger led to behavior that wasn't safe. So would, would we want to help you control your anger and replace it if something like this happens again? Yes. Quindi noi vogliamo aiutarti a controllare la tua rabbia e um, sostituirla con qualcos'altro nel caso questa situazione, la situazione si diventi di verificarsi. So the goal is to try to reduce your anger in situations like this mm -hmm. in the future. Quindi il nostro obiettivo è riuscire a diminuire la tua rabbia in situazioni simili. So if we change your anger, what would you feel and how would you act? instead of the anger and the yelling that you did there? What would be se, the new goal? So you would want good manners, 
But then you think, because I want it and it's the right thing to do, he has to be, he must do the right thing, right? So why must this guy, we could call him something else, Strums or something, <laughs> why must he do the right thing? <laughs> he hit you. That's true. That would be the right thing to do. But. But if he doesn't do the right things, do you want to put yourself at risk of starting a fight with someone who already has bad manners? So what if you say that I want people to have good manners, but there's a lots of idiots out there whose mother didn't raise them right who don't have good manners? <laughs> expect people to be rude, right? Have you run across have you run across any other rude people? They have them in Italy, rude people. See? Right. And so people don't always do the right thing. Right, everywhere they have rude people. Now, Now here, here's, sort of another, here's another part of your belief. When people are angry, they kind of believe, they kind of think of themselves as right. They think of the other person as blame, blameworthy, and they think of themselves as strong. Right? Now, would you have wanted to get into a fight with him? No, you said, what, what if you want? Did you want to get into a fight with him? Not really, but I would to combat him, no. Sottolineate. He was wrong. Not only to fight him, but underlining. <laughs> But anger is a way of attacking people, and do you want to attack people? You never want to attack people unless you think you can win. In general, comunque, la rabbia è un'emozione che ti spinge a attaccare le persone che non lo penseresti se non se non credessi di poter vincere in quel momento. So, could you have won the fight? Non aspetta, me lo devo ricordare, perché 
No, non particolarmente, per, anche perché poi tra l'altro era giovane, cioè era un ragazzo. E forse magari mh, fosse Grazie. stato una persona di, diversa, magari ah, mi sarebbe okay. un po' più bravo. Il fisico era più Young, he was big and strong. Yeah. You, you would have not been so angry. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's safe to be angry at little guys. No! <laughs> <laughs> So, what you could think is, I don't like his behavior, he is rude, people are rude, I need to say what I want to say in a assertive way. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? So can you imagine mm -hmm. the scene happening over again except you change the way you think and change the way you feel and change the way you react? Puoi immaginare la stessa scena ma pensando una cosa diversa e quindi avendo un'emozione diversa e comportandosi in maniera diversa? Sì, sicuramente. Ok, you want to try that? Yeah. Ok. Okay. All right. Question. <laughs>